Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. I just wanted to make a new video today with a little bit of the Mattel news that's circulating and just in general uh, dinosaur news, not just specifically Mattel because I do have a little tiny bit from the W Dragon studio that has made that bull T-Rex in the recent Allosaurus I reviewed. So anyway, we'll start with the Mattel news. We have just recently gotten some new pictures of the Mattel Parasaurolophus. And as you can see, one is a picture showing the action gimmick that it's got going on, or at least one of the action gimmicks. It looks as though the tail can move, but this one specifically is showing the head motion of the dinosaur, which looks pretty cool. And uh, overall, it's just nice in general to see a new picture of this dinosaur up close. We also got a picture of it actually in the box. I'm not sure who this picture is by. I would love to give the person credit, but I really have absolutely no idea. But regardless, it is very cool to see the actual Parasaurolophus in the box, something I was definitely pretty happy to see, and the overall box art looked quite nice as well. So you can actually see there on the box art, you can get an idea of the tail action as well, because it does show it up there in the left-hand side of the center of the box. So again, pretty cool to actually see it in box, and that little picture of the action gimmick was also quite interesting. We also got some new pictures of the Dracorex and Owen ATV set, and you can see the box actually is quite awesome for this set. I am really heavily in love with this box. It really kind of reminds me a lot of the older Jurassic Park sets from Kenner that we got oh so long ago back for the original movie. I love the open-faced kind of box type look that it has and overall that box is really quite awesome and a step up from what we've gotten previously. And we also get to see it outside of the box which is cool as well. We get to see the accessories that it comes with, the very interesting looking ATV, of course another Owen and the overall look of that Drakorex is quite beautiful. I really love that paint scheme. And in some more interesting news for anybody that does not know. Entertainment Earth, which is a website you can buy some of these Jurassic figures from, actually has full case assortments of the Dino Rivals up for pre-order for February 2019 as the release date. Uh, again, who knows for sure if that'll actually be the release date for the figures as it kind of switches all the time. But regardless, you can buy the Jurassic World Deluxe Story Pack action figure with vehicle case, the Jurassic World Dual Attack action figure case, which you can see has the Parasaurolophus Triceratops and Concavenator, the Jurassic World Savage Strike case, which does not give us any information, just like the Story Pack case, but I think we've got a pretty good idea of who would be in the Story Pack case, probably the Owen ATV set, and uh, possibly maybe those two Velociraptor sets we saw a little while back, but I can't say for certain if they would be included or not. And then we also get a Jurassic World Mega Dual Attack action figure case, which as you can see is sporting the Suchomimus, and uh, I'd imagine the Stegosaurus would be in there as well, but I can't say for sure who or what else, if anything else. A little tidbit of information is that the Dual Attack and Mega Dual Attack contain one of each of the figure, while the other sets contain multiples of each of the figures, so if you do want to buy any for repaints, you will know that you will be getting multiples of those in those other packs. And in the absolute last little bit of information I have for you guys, it's not Mattel related, but it is that W Dragon company that I had previously stated. We got a preview of their next work, and as you can see, it is a 1 15th scale Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus bust. I know a lot of people aren't real excited about dinosaur busts as they like full bodies on their dinosaurs, but I personally think this looks beautiful, and I am really, really excited for it to come out in the very near future. Love seeing these sneak peeks of future figures. Hopefully they'll make a full bodied figure as well at some point in the very near future because I would love to have that as well. So as of right now, that's all I've got. No kind of uh, brand new crazy news, just some new images for the most part and uh, a little bit of information on W Dragon and stuff like that. But hopefully more important news in the very near future will surface. Otherwise, please like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.